Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Eid Mubarak and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my YouTube world. I'm Shweta, Shweta Vijay. My god, that sounded like James, James Bond. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all my social media platform which is there in the info bar. It is also right now showing in the screen at this very moment. I also have to tell you there are two exciting giveaways taking place in my channel right now. One is the WAM stamp. If you are struggling with winged eyeliner, that feline flick, believe me guys, you need this tool and that is going to end in another two days, that giveaway, so take part in that. And another one is a pack cosmetic giveaway. I'm giving away a thousand rupees gift voucher with Amazon India and you can win any pack cosmetic of your choice. So this Eid makeup look is a very simple uh, drama free makeup look. Trust me, it doesn't look like that, but it is. And this has got just glitter eyeshadow guys. It's just a silver glitter eyeshadow. There's absolutely nothing else. I'm giving you two lip options. One is, you know, a pinky nude lipstick. If you know you don't like your bright colors and I thought of giving you two lip options that will go with a silver you know a beautiful high shine silver eyeshadow and a second one is a red lip what you're seeing at the moment which is my personal favorite I will I'm also showing you an option one without artificial lashes which is my ultimate favorite and one without there's a lot of things happening in this video okay but we shall start the tutorial at this moment and let's go for it so I made this homemade primer which I'm just testing out right now this primer that I am testing out guys if it really works I'm going to do it a couple of times and see how well my makeup sits. It's naturally made and it is so so good for you. So I'm taking my ice cube right now and I'm just applying that all over my face. If you guys have sensitive skin and the ice cube is a little too harsh, please wrap the ice cube in your cheesecloth or a handkerchief or whatever. And I'm going to take my concealer. This is 5W from Cryolan. I got this when I was in Spain again and again I'm telling you the same thing only because if you guys this uh, summer you're planning to go to Spain then you shouldn't check out that Spain haul but because of the peach undertone in it it just takes the darkness away so well you'll see in a bit so I love to just pile on my concealer because once that is set I just have to put like very little foundation. So I'm using the Pack HD liquid foundation. I have done a whole review on that. So I'm giving a thousand rupees gift voucher like I mentioned in the beginning uh, from Amazon India. So you can buy whatever you want. I'm in the shade 4.1. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Uh, this foundation has got a yellow undertone. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, I have made a whole video on how to choose the right foundation. I am talking about what undertone means because that's very important when you are buying your foundation to find out exactly what your undertone is whether you're pink or whether you are yellow or whether you're red you can't be red because extremely dark pigmented skin has got a red undertone now I am going to again over my foundation take an ice cube and just wrap this all over my face only because this will set my foundation so beautifully trust me on this don't get scared go and watch that video guys now we shall go over with my compact powder and the compact powder of my choice is the d -Li plus again another gem from spain i don't have a good compact alternative so i am using this we shall go in for uh, eyeshadow i got the nyx face and body glitter all right this is in silver number 10 this is i think this is around four pounds or something like that you can get it from the next showroom i'm only using a lot of glitter because it just adds that little glamour and sparkle I don't want to spend time, you know, doing my cut crease and adding two eyeshadows and just blending it and making sure that everything is nice and even. Nobody has the time for that this Eid. Uh, my last Eid uh, tutorial, I did a very mermaid kind of an eyeshadow. I should leave that in the description bar. So I have this plate right in front of me where I have put my glitter particles already in it. Now when you're applying glitter, make sure that you have a flat brush and you get this glitter primer as well from NYX. 
it makes it much more easier for you to just put the glue and apply the glitter primer but what I'm going to be doing is I'm taking the uh, mixing liquid this is the Mehron mixing liquid which you get in the Pat McGrath uh, you know all her eyeshadow kits come with this mixing liquid I'm taking just a small drop of it and I'm going to mix this baby up oh before 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 I do that a uh, loose powder under my eye and this is the NYX banana powder color color correcting powder in banana and I'm going to apply that under my eyes so that any fallout this will catch Wow I'm sure my camera is not even doing justice to how pretty this one looks I'm trying to put this right here in the inner corner and gently curve my you know my crease but a lot more goes on the center you can do the same thing with the next uh, glue that it comes with guys you can put the glue all over your eyelids and then apply the glitter just pack in the glitter slowly I know it doesn't look much right now but if you're indoors and you have those very nice yellow lights or any sort of lighting other than white lights even white light actually it will just make your eyelids sparkle at the look of that now we shall do my eyebrows while that glitter dries down usually I go for the NYX micro brow pencil in the color black but I just got to know it's over so I have to go and pick up another one because I really like that so I'm taking my trusted one this is the party queen your basic eyebrow pencil you can use any eyebrow pencil of your choice just like uh, you know the compact powder and I am going to define my eyebrows a lot more because since it's a very festive look and there's a lot going on on my eye I'm going to darken and draw my eyebrows a little more thicker okay so now with the spoolie I'm just going to take a little bit of my hairspray and I'm just going to set my eyebrows so that it doesn't move we're going to contour right now and I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Bronzing Powder and I'm just going to contour my nose. I have sharp nose anyway so I'm going a bit gentle on it. Okay and I'm taking whatever excess powder and I'm putting it right here. All these excess loose powder right in the center. Uh, contour my cheeks and make it a little more chiseled Just very gently only here on the side I'm not bringing it all the way in we are going for a gentle contour making it as natural as possible you will see in a bit what I meant it just gives that little look at that just that little definition I'm also going to do that on my jawline I'm using the nature studio kajal cold kajal from plum cosmetics is it yeah it's plum cosmetics this is easily available in India obviously it is very reasonable quite decent actually uh, in its formula quite creamy and long-lasting I'm just gonna put that on my waterline and I'm going to smoke this out Underneath that I'm just going to go in with a little little pop of color and I'm taking the Chambord Dazzle eye pencil just a little color underneath my waterline under my waterline corner I'm just extending it just to give it just a little reverse wing effect and apply a lot of mascara And I'm going for the Scandalized Reloaded Mascara from Rimmel. And I'm also going to apply that on my bottom lashes. Very, very important for you to do that. Never forget your bottom lashes. 
little, little blush. Uh, let's see, I'm using Desert Rose from Shambo. Or a little bit of highlighter. You guys know I don't like to use too much of highlighter on my skin because of its texture. But it's a beautiful subtle highlight that doesn't exaggerate your pores. Something about the formula doesn't exaggerate it. I'll show you in a bit. Take the extra out. So much of fallout. It's scary actually. I'm just going to put a little bit oh my lord so beautiful I'm putting right here right here on my brow bone and more on the lips Okay, now I'm just going to line the lips and I'm giving you two options of lipstick. One is a pinky brown nude uh, that you can wear during the daytime or you can wear it all day, completely your choice if a bright color is a bit too much and over the top for you. See, I have taken the Glide On Slide On Lip Pencil from NYX. I absolutely love this. This is in high standard and this reminds me so much of the Huda Beauty Icon Lip Contour. How beautiful is this lipstick? Now I'm just going to set my makeup with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So guys, I have my outfit, my jewelry, all of the information is there in the description bar. In case you want to buy this jewelry, I got it from Delhi from Suhana Art and Jewelers. Anyway, all the information is there in the info bar and this is it. This is my makeup look for E2017 with the lip option number one. It's a pretty nudie pink you know, lipstick option for someone who doesn't like to experiment with bright colors or if you're planning to just wear this during the daytime, you're going for a real, you know, heavy duty glitter eye makeup and you just want to make your lips a little more simple, then this is the one for you. I took the lipstick off and I'm going to show you my favorite option, option number two, a red lipstick. And I'm using the Nika K True Matte uh, lipstick liquid lipstick this is in Shiraz and I think Nika K is having a sale at Nika right now so this is easily available I am NOT a big fan of the wand so I am going to be using another wand altogether oh I put artificial lashes on as well And this is option number two, a beautiful red lip, which is not everybody's cup of tea, I know, but I absolutely love it. The artificial lashes is completely optional. I'm just showing you two versions, you know, one without the lashes, which I prefer because it's a pain in the ass to put, you know, false lashes. But I'm giving you two options for people who love a little bit of a drama, who love their lashes and a bright lip. This is my second option. What I'm loving about it is my red lipstick. I hope I didn't complicate this tutorial for you it as simple as possible keeping the base minimum so i hope you enjoyed that guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and take part in the two very exciting giveaway that's taking place at the moment and yeah there are going to be more giveaways especially next week guys there's going to be a lovely giveaway which i'm looking forward to have one of you girls winning the latest launch of one of the biggest beauty influencer so anyway this ends the video i hope you all had a wonderful ramzan and and may God bless you with the most amazing, peaceful and the happiest Eid ever. Eid Mubarak all of you, all of my beauties. May this year be completely successful, peaceful and filled with good health. I shall see you very soon in my next. Bye for now.